Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and today let's talk about a concept called level of detail. This, uh, we're gonna use this model that comes straight from our Campus Fundamentals course, uh, the course on Follow Me, the lessons on Follow Me, and just talk about this concept. Now, you may be familiar with this, but if you're new to 3D modeling, the concept of level of detail is an important one to understand. So let's have a look. Now, to start out with, um, I want you to look at this simple table. Just look at it for a moment and keep in mind, what are the differences between these four legs? Um, can we tell what the difference is here? So again, keep that in mind, and then we're gonna jump over to this example. Again, this, this file is straight from our campus course. I haven't changed anything, so you can come in to the campus course and uh, practice on these yourself. With the follow me tool in particular, based on the path and the shape you are using, you get a little bit different results. So here we have a five, um, uh, eight, 12, I think, different paths and uh, this shape should all be the same. So if I said, let's use that path, follow me, we get sort of five sides. And if I do the same thing for all of these examples, what I'd like to show is this concept that when I view the hidden geometry, you can see that some of these have less uh, actual geometry making them up, and some of these have more. There's a lot more detail in this um, glass than this one or this one based on the number of sides of our path and our shape. Now, when you're new to 3D modeling, it might be uh, intuitive to think, well, I should just add a lot of detail because I want my models to look amazing. And that that's totally valid. The thing to understand though, is that if we zoom out a little bit, now can you really tell the difference between these two models? Not really. A little bit this one, but if we zoom out a little more, now the three uh, glasses here, they're really imperceptible. So we need to zoom in a lot before we really start taking advantage of the amount of detail that is in this example. And if we're not gonna zoom in that far, that's a lot of geometry that we're asking our computer to render. And if we take this model, and this happens to be a model that we're gonna copy a lot of times, well, we are just exponentially increasing the amount of geometry that we're asking our computer to process. So the idea of level of detail is to create the amount of detail, maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one, maybe it is this high resolution one. Create the amount of detail that we need based on the type of model we're creating or the type of scene that we're going to be showing um, somebody. Now again, just to emphasize where you can start to lose, uh, not lose, but reduce um, geometry. This is a good example. Say this simple light bulb, we don't need a lot of detail unless the point was to model a very detailed light bulb. This is made up of a series of curves, and typically a more shallow curve like this one, we can get away with less. So you can see there's only four segments in this curve, whereas this one has 10. Now let's just see what this looks like. This looks fine, especially once we zoom out just a little bit. There's the amount of detail we have. Now again, if I undo this and said, you know what? for purposes of, of whatever reason, I'm gonna turn this up to 10 and I'm gonna turn this curve, um, gonna double the amount to 20. And then if we look at this, maybe that's the amount, maybe we want more detail, but 
don't add it unless you intentionally need it because you're going to be zooming in and this is something you're going to see up close or something that maybe you're going to 3D print. There could be a reasons why you add detail, but more often there's good reason to reduce the detail. All right, so let's jump back here. And again, I've, uh, I've given away the hint because I've got my hidden geometry still turned on. The difference between these four legs is that each was created with a different level of detail. And for this kind of gentle curve, there's not, there's not much uh, difference visually. Probably this one that has a little bit more detail than this, uh, but certainly a lot less than these two would be as much as we'd need for this leg. Now, if all we were modeling was this table, just this table, a, a, a high amount of detail could totally be fine. We're modeling one table in a lot of detail, add more, de uh, add more detail by all means. But if this table is just part, a very small part of a larger model, then use a very uh, low level of detail because this is going to be in the background. It's just going to be in the background. We don't need it. Or if you're going to render it, maybe you do. But again, it's highly subjective. Just something to keep in mind is that level of detail. And again, especially with the follow me tool, that completely depends on the number of segments in your path and the number of segments in your shape. And you have control over those type of things. All right, so there we have it. Kind of a little different, talking sort of conceptual ideas, but I hope that made sense. Level of detail again, there's no definitive rule that's gonna tell you how many segments to add in any given situation. It is, it is subjective, but generally, again, the idea, add the, the amount of detail that you need, but no more than that. Uh, the less detail you can introduce to your model, the faster your model is gonna perform for you, the, the simpler it will be to make changes. That's the idea. But again, it's your personal preference and, and your circumstances that will, that will change the level of detail you add to your models. So that's it for today. Hopefully that was helpful, uh, an idea that if you are, are, weren't familiar with that you can kind of play with now. Let us know what you think or what type of projects you create a lot of detail or a little bit of detail for. Uh, and, and let us know in the comments and we'll have that discussion. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you next time.